What's going on? What's going on? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So excited that you're here today. And today we're talking about, yes, the five ways. Put up five, five ways for you to increase your brand awareness, your brand awareness. So if you're jumping on, say hello. If you're catching me on the replay, drop in and say hello. So today I'm talking to you business owners, coaches, utilizing the online space to build your business. Okay. So one thing I want to ask you right now, you may have thought this yourself. If only people knew what I do. Have you ever said that? Drop a one in the chat. Wave to me. Say hello. Hello. I got you on Instagram. I've got you Facebook, YouTube. We're all over the place, right? And if you ever thought, if only people knew what I do, only if they could see my work, right? Well, they don't see you because you're not out there utilizing the space to build your business, right? How many of you are getting out there and being seen all over the place? What's up, ladies? Nice to see you here. Thanks for joining me. How many of you go live, post, or in your stories? How many of you do that? Drop a yes below or drop a no. Or maybe you do one. Let me know. Which one are you utilizing? Because today I'm going to talk to you about the five ways, the five ways to get brand awareness out there. So what does brand awareness mean? People see what you do, right? People see what you do. So welcome to this broadcast. I'm super excited that you're here. My name is Becky LaFave, better known as She's in Charge of Business. Well, I help you, the entrepreneur, the coach, monetize your brand, your personal brand, and having a profitable online business without sacrificing your soul. How many of you love that, right? We don't want to sacrifice our soul to have our business. So if that speaks to you, drop a fire below because that's where I'm at. Okay. So first of all, we're going to talk about brand awareness marketing, right? I just spoke a little bit about it. Like the ways that you can get your brand awareness out there is creating valuable content, right? How many of you are putting content out there, but it's, it's not very much a lot of value for who? our ideal client. I was just talking to a coaching client this morning about who is your bestie. Like I like to call them my bestie because listen, I only want to do business with people that feel like my bestie. Like, can I get an amen? Right? Come on now. Who wants to do business with people they like? I don't want to do with business people I don't like. Right. And I only want to work with women that want to grow their brand and get out there in line and show up like happy, International Women's Day today, right? So that's exciting. So who do you want to speak to is the most important piece, is the target, right? And so how are you resonating with them? Are you putting that value content out there that they need to hear? So where can we do this, right? We can do it in a blog post. We can do it on LinkedIn. We can do it um, in a social media post. In the stories, video like this, right? You can do a video like this. So where are you putting your energy, right? Where are you putting your energy? Um, Rhonda says, I post. Okay, Rhonda. Rhonda, do you do live video? Let me know. Do you do live video? Do you do it? Do you use reels, right? Do you use reels? Today on uh, International Women's Day, I did a reel on shocking news. I'm going to share with you shocking news. 1.7, 1.7 women are seven figure earners in the world. 1.7 are seven figure earners. That's not enough of us, ladies. That's not enough. The rest of them are men. So how do we get that number up? Drop it and let me know. How do we get that number up? I'd love to hear from you as other women. How do we get this up, right? What I'm teaching you today is actually how we get this up. So we're going to put out these consistently, consistently. Here's the thing. Consistently putting out value, right? Putting out value to our ideal customer, okay? So you've got to increase your chances. This is how you increase your chances, right, of getting your brand awareness out there. The brand is you. You are your personal brand. 
We are the personal brand. Now, if you sell a product, if you're a network marketing, you are not your product. You are still a personal brand. If you sell product somewhere else, well, then that's a whole different story. But if you're a coach and uh, you know, you're running an online business, you are your own personal brand. So the more you get yourself out there, that brings more brand awareness around you. And people that stick around is because you give them value. Right. Can I get an amen below? Secondly, brand awareness strategy on Instagram. Now, how many of you are in Instagram drop IG? If you use Instagram, I'm talking to Instagram right now as we do this, you know, um, how to increase brand awareness on there is using hashtags that are relevant for your niche or your industry. Right. Relevant for your niche or industry, creating engagement creating engagement okay that's how you're going to showcase and sharing high high quality images and videos right instagram is all about let's say the pictures right take a beautiful picture and reels reels are the hottest thing over there as facebook is catching up right so how many of you are utilizing instagram drop below let me know what is your main platform i always love to know where my audience is right what is your main platform facebook instagram where are you at okay all right so let's move on and you know another way is to effectively collaborate collaborate with brand influencers right this is so important brand influencers that have similar target audience. So Friday, I am doing um, a live with somebody else on Instagram, right? She has an audience of women that are in business. And I'm talking about a workshop. What is the workshop all about, right? I'm going to teach them this workshop that I'm, I have coming up. So I'm collaborating. How many of you are collaborating in your industry? Let me know. Drop in the chat, ladies. Let's go, right? So that can help you expose yourself to a new audience. How many of you are building an email list, a following? That's how we get it done. And that's how you spread brand awareness. Okay. Thirdly, talk about your brand awareness, video ideas, right? How many of you are still too scared to put yourself out there on video? Like, ladies, this is 2023. Like we got to get it together, right? Now, when I first started, it didn't look nothing like this. You got to start at zero, right? You got to start at zero and build your way up. You will get better. But what do we tell our kids all the time? If you don't practice, you can't get better. Nobody wants to practice that video, right? Can I give you a hint? If you open up a group, make it private to you. Nobody else in the world can see it, just you. Go live inside of there and build up your confidence, build up your courage. If that's what it takes, do whatever it takes, right? Do whatever it takes, but get yourself out there because that's how you're going to get it done faster. I mean, who are you watching? You're watching live, right? You watch replays, you watch YouTubes, you're grabbing off reels. Why ain't that you? That's how you're going to build your brand awareness. You can also showcase not just your face. So let's say you have customers, right? Let's say you have clients that have been very successful with whatever products you have. You can actually do a video on that, your personal unique selling points. Do a video on that. Um, you can create a story videos. Do a highlight on just what I shared, highlights of your clients. Highlights of your product, right? People love short. Why do you think reels are like blowing up everywhere? They're short snippets. So can you do short snippets on, you know, some of your um, customers that are winning, right? Your business journey. How about your business journey? What's going on inside of your business or whatever you're teaching, you're coaching on? Tell a little bit about your story so you can connect with another human that says, oh, girl, just like me, right? We all want to work with somebody just like me. I've been there. She can help me, right? All of that. Um, product demo. 
Do you, are you, are you talking about disease and you're cooking in a healthy way? How can you demo a healthy meal for somebody? People love this. And if you're not showing up with a featured video of the week, I go live every single Wednesday, Wednesday, teaching you some marketing, some branding skills, right? How to show up on social media and start winning in your business. That's what I love to do, right? That's what I am passionate about helping women grow. That is it. That is my mission, right? To help you become that seven figure earner that we all deserve to be. So become one of that 1.7, right? We need that number to go up, ladies. Okay. Create these customer testimonials via video. These are powerful ways. And you can use them in all different ways. You can use them right online. You can do it in a reel. You can do it in a story. You can do it in so many ways, right? Maybe you've got, um, you know, something coming up and you got a workshop. Like I have a workshop coming up. Ladies, if you haven't heard about this yet, let me share with you really quick. It is all about chat GBT. Now, I know some of you are like, I don't need another thing, Becky. I feel overwhelmed. Well, let me take this off your plate really quick. If you feel like you don't have the energy or time, it's because you're too busy trying to figure out how to put out massive content, which we're going to fix that, right? Massive content. How do you get out to the marketplace fast? This is how you do it. You get things done faster, right? And it's not with a robot voice. I have created it in a way that you speak from your heart, that your audience grasps you. I have been making more money in my business because of this, because I've learned how to use this intelligence the right way to create my business even faster. So if you have not even played with AI yet, if you have not even got into the game yet, it's not in the future. It's already here, ladies. It's already here. How many of you right now are using Alexa, Siri, right? How many of you watch Netflix and all of a sudden Netflix shows up in movies that you possibly might like because that's all AI. All of that is AI. It has been happening for years, but now you just got the opportunity to get in the game, right? At no cost to use this platform. <laughs> Can I get an amen, right? Right now anyway. Some of them are costly. Some of them are not. But here it is. You can now get in the game and get your brand awareness out there even faster if you know how to use it and not sound like a robot because there's a lot of information out there that sounds like a robot. And I don't do business that way, right? So if you do business that way, you work out just fine utilizing it. If not, you know, that is where it's at. Get your brand awareness out there even faster, okay? So um, Rhonda's building an email list. You're building an email list. You want to get to the market fast with your emails. Like this is how you get to do it. Pump it out even faster. It is freaking amazing, right? Okay. Yes, you love that. Create a private group for practice. Yes, ladies. Let's get this, right? That's awesome. I'm glad you... I'm glad you grasped that and you and you jotted it down in your part of the chat. Thank you. Okay, so fourthly, let's discuss brand awareness. Now, everybody thinks about their brand as a color and font. And yes, it is part of it, right? Just like my color font is pink. I love pink. I love pink, right? I wear leopard. I wear certain colors. It attracts my ideal customer, right? It is all about the visual eye, what we are attracted to, right? Other people are attracted to other things. There's a billion people out there. Be bold in who you are and make a statement, right? Why do you think I have a unicorn? Oops, unicorn over here. You can't see it on Instagram, but it's over here. And I have this. You know, a lot of women know me as, and that unicorn, what does she have on? A freaking crown right? Because I am known for these images, right? Besides my color, here's the thing I want you to understand. Color and fonts for your um, post. You can create social media posts, um, target your ideal client with this, um, you know, use little props, right? Like seriously, somebody sent me this the little unicorn broke off right here. <laughs> Somebody sent me this. It's a tape reel because when they saw this, they saw this out there, they thought of me, right? That's huge. 
Who was thinking about you when they're not online? Who was thinking about you? Women think about me when they see crowns, when they see a unicorn, when they see lips. I just got a pair of earrings. I should have worn them today. I just, a client sent them to me. A pair of earrings that are just lips that are fallen because she saw it somewhere and she instantly thought, Becky, where are you being thought of, right? It doesn't matter. These little things help you get thought of. When you're thought of, you're building brand awareness. This has got nothing to do with my business, but it's got everything to do with my business. Does that make sense, ladies? Give me a hell yes below if you're catching on what I'm putting down, right? Are you catching what I'm putting down? Because all these things matter when you show up. I talk to so many coaches. I just want to coach Becky. Well, listen, babe, put on your marketing cap because you just became a marketer. You got to put yourself out there to get the business. And I teach you exactly how to do that, right? So all these things matter. That's how you're going to build brand awareness. That's how you're going to attract new leads. That's how you're going to attract the customers to you, right? Yes, I'm getting a hell yes below here. I love it. Okay, so finally, the brand awareness strategy. Ready for the strategy, okay? So you have to participate. You've got to participate online when it comes to communities, right? How many of you are in communities? You're in communities. Drop a five below if you're in other communities, groups, okay? Groups or communities. How many of you are in there and they're relevant in your niche or industry? Drop a five below, okay? Drop a five below. I should be seeing some fives going on here, girls. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, next question. Drop a six below if you're actually communicating inside of these communities. So a lot of us are in groups. A lot of us, let's face it. But are you engaging? Are you a part of the, you know, are you a part of actually the community? You you are being seen. Are you being seen? right? Are you talking about the shit that's happening in the world? Are you talking about what your niche needs to hear? Are you opening up and sharing the story of your pains and struggles that you went through, that you got over the hurdles? Are you showing up in a way that somebody says, hell yes, I want to do business with her because she gets me. She understands me. She is the real woman that's out there, not just pretending to be somebody she's not. That's the woman you need to be to show up and have brand awareness. Because the more you stand out, the more you stand out in your leadership, let's face it, women, so many women are hiding from who they truly are. And people say, Becky, I can't be like you. Why not? Why can't you stand up for what you believe in? Why can't you make a statement that says 1.7% of women are seven-figure earners and the rest are men? There's something wrong with that, ladies. And I'm making a stand about it. Because more women... Once they have money in their hand, they do better things with it. Frankly, that's how I believe. What do you believe is what I want to know. Do you believe the same, right? When women have money in hand, they do amazing things. We help support other ladies. We help do good in the world. We give freely, right? How many of you feel the same way? So how many more women need to earn more money? Yes, we do. And you're hiding behind because you're scared of what somebody else might think. Leaders in the world don't care what other people think. Leaders in the world are leaving a legacy with their brand awareness in front, right? They believe to their core that they have a mission, that they have a statement to make, and they're going to get out in front of people and make it. Whether other people like it or not, I don't care, right? That's the difference is you care too much at a deeper level of what everybody else thinks, except for the sister you need to help today. What is it that you do or you want to do? What is it? What is it that you want? We've all been somewhere. We've all done something in our lives and overcome something. And there's other women just like you, right? That want to get out there and monetize something, but they're holding back. And brand awareness will get you out there on the front, okay? Be the woman that says no more. I'm going to show up in a bigger way. (laughs) 
Jesus woman preach it. You get it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. This is so important. And this is how you need to get. This is how I teach my clients. Right. I get down and dirty. We don't play around. I bring it out in you so you can stand strong, so you can be the woman you deserve to be and have the desire that Jesus brought you to this earth to be. He didn't say you sit behind the scenes of somebody else. He said, stand up and be you, girlfriend. Right? That's what it's about. It's not hiding who you are. Get out there with your brand and stand tall and speak into people right? Get in those communities. Be a part of that community. People are dying. This is why we open up communities for women for to make a stand, right? To share ideas, to be supportive, right? People are too worried about taking, taking, taking. You only can take when you have added value to somebody else's life. People are only going to pay you when you make a stand and add value, right? People are too busy. How am I going to get in there and get mine, get mine, get mine? That is not leadership. That is called taking. And when you show up differently in the world, people want to work with you. Okay. So I'm so excited that you joined me today. If you got anything out of this, please, if you feel like another woman out there could use this, how about sharing this? Share it in your stories, right? Share it on your wall. How many other women out there need this message today? And you're like, yes, I'm going to be in my own leadership and I'm going to share what another sister has to share because more women need to hear this. All right. So get inside those communities. I don't care if you're on Facebook, Instagram, whatever platforms that you can get on and share your ideas and collaborate with other women. Um, you know, have a point of view. Not everybody's got to like you. That's okay, honey. We ain't in high school anymore, right? I don't need everybody to like me. I want other women to rise with me. How about that? How about that? Change our leadership, change the world. All right, you guys, love you. If you need me and you want to join this group of this workshop, I mean, of Chat GBT, and you're like, yes, I'm running with you, girl. We are jumping in next Monday. If you want the link, drop link below, and I will make sure you get the link. You don't want to miss out on this opportunity. This is where it's at. It is an opportunity to get in front of the curve, get your brand awareness out there faster, faster to market. Who makes the money, honey? Faster to market. All right. Take care. We'll see you soon.